Believe it or not, this is breakfast at John's. We figure, Jimmy, that when uh, we get busy, we're going to do everything not by number, but by customer name. And so we'll take their their order and they write their name on it, and then if we get a little line, then we'll just go take it out too. That'll work. That'll work. Take some eggs. Something you hadn't seen here. Uh, the pickle in the corner. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure of her name just yet, but uh, she just cooked her very first omelet. So, uh, heaven. So we have an experienced omelet chef behind behind the counter. What's your name, ma'am? My name is Sandy Landers. And you are an experienced omelet chef. Chef. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're here with um, with Roy Gilliam, the new uh, owner of uh, Johnny's Barbecue. Roy, thanks for sitting down with us this morning. Yeah. I guess the, uh, the number question, number one question is, are you going to change the name of this place to Roy's Barbecue? No, 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 no. You know, Johnny has has been here since 1952. Actually, this location since 1955, okay. and um, it's going to be Johnny's Barbecue and Diner. Well, then maybe, have you considered maybe changing your name to Johnny? <laughs> just, uh, just Johnny, Roy, Johnny. That's Johnny right. kind of has a ring, too. Johnny, Johnny Roy. Roy. Yeah. Yeah, JR. Johnny, JR, Johnny Roy has that West Texas oh, that flair might work. to it. Yeah. Yep, that might work. The first time I ran into you, you were the manager of Cheddar's. Well, you've come a long way since then. You've got the barn door in Odessa. Yes, sir. You had Southern made, and I've never had an opportunity to apologize to you for suggesting that you made chocolate glazed donuts, which I'm sure is what 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 was the final blow to you there. Uh, but um, trust me, they were good. We were cooks. We weren't mechanics. That was the main thing about that. And <laughs> that machine that we had was uh, was horrendous. It was horrible. Oh yeah. I, I, I've heard some things about um, how, I guess, difficult and expensive it was to, to, to operate. It was very expensive, and, and it broke down uh, during 911, and all the parts had to come from Bellevue, Washington, and we didn't have a Federal Express account, and uh -huh. so we couldn't even get parts for it wow. immediately. So I ended up going there after I finished with the barn door. Mm -hmm. um, I ended up going there and, and doing the, uh, the donut thing by hand. You didn't sleep at all those days? No, uh, not for about two weeks. But you, you told me this morning you like this. I mean, you like devoting all your time to, to the restaurant business. I love it. It is it is so much fun, Jimmy. We, we had a, we have, have had a blast uh, turning, turning this around, getting it cleaned up, mm -hmm. and uh, painting and remodeling, and the development of the logo and the menu and that type of stuff. And it, uh, I'll tell you what, it, 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 it's going to be very, very good. I think. Now, now Johnny didn't have a logo before; he was pretty old school, right? Right. Yeah. It and was just, uh, just the, the words Johnny's Barbecue. Yeah. You know? yeah. But we added the pig and or the two pigs. What is the deal with the pig? Everybody, look up here. I want to look at this pig here uh, enjoying a rack of a rack of ribs. It's not something that you see every day, but if you come to Johnny's Barbecue, you can see a design uh, painted by someone whose name you're going to tell me again here in a second. Um, but you explain that that is not a pork rib. That is not a pork rib. That's a beef rib, so there's no cannibalism here going on. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's the first step of a successful restaurant owning. There's no, no depictions of cannibalism on the wall. That's right. We have several different pigs, and, and hopefully you'll get a few of some. We have a Dallas cowboy. We have a nurse. Um, we have one right over there carrying the chicken. Okay. And of course, that's ham and eggs. Oh, uh, yeah, I got you. And we have a geologist. Um, we want that to be a CAF pig there with the little wings and a, and a fly hat on. Uh -huh. Of course, we have to have the Johnny's pig, Johnny's barbecue right. pig. Right, with the chef cap. Yeah. yeah. Johnny owned this place since '55, is that what you said? Yes, sir. Uh, that's yeah. some. That's some historical boots to fill, isn't it? Well, it really is. And um, as you come in the front door there, we have a, uh, a great picture of, uh, of the founder, Johnny Hackney. Excellent. And, um, you know, we need to glorify Johnny. He, he you know, was responsible for all of this. And uh, uh, his time has come now where he, he was ready to retire. And I think uh, Tammy and I were ready to take over. Was he reluctant to let go of it? 
Um, not really. He knew that it was time, um, you know, for him, him to give it up to someone that was going to carry on the tradition and, and stuff. And after several conversations with him, uh, I finally talked him out of it. Is he going to be a regular customer? He is. Matter of fact, we gave him a lifetime uh, membership for free food. <laughs> Very nice. Now you're doing a few things different here than, than he did, I think, <coughs> including um, this wonderful plate of uh, omelets, uh, bacon, and, um, and potatoes. Breakfast is new, right? Breakfast is new. We started that yesterday morning, and we're going to open at 6.30 every morning and probably stay open until about 7 o'clock. We're going to serve breakfast until... Uh, around 10.30 in the morning, and then we'll switch over to lunch, um, which we have added um, baked potatoes, stuffed baked potatoes with barbecue meat and that type of stuff. And then we have some uh, hamburgers uh, that we offer as well as a couple salads. And that's new as well, the hamburger. That's, oh, that's new as well, you bet. Okay. <clears throat> One thing that we plan on doing is opening up our uh, drive through and the weather has been so cold lately that we haven't had a chance to do the, the concrete work out front to make an egress off of Big Spring Street. Where will the drive through be? It's going to be right here. It's actually going to be a pickup window, so folks will be able to call in their order or fax in their order and okay. let us know what time they want to pick up their order, and then it will be ready for them when they get here. They're not going to be able to drive through and order and get their food. It's no. a pick up, call ahead pickup window. Okay. That'll alleviate some of that line you were telling me yes. you had yesterday. Yes, you bet. Um, 